So they're in at third base. Patrick Diedrich in the first pitch of the game at Lomity today is swung on. It's going to get to the shortstop, and Grattan is not going to be able to get him. So a swinging bunt will work for Connor Queenan. We'll take a look at the starting lineup now as we get set for this elimination game. And it is the team from Smithfield, Rhode Island. Of course, Rhode Island has had a great deal of success. Outfield goes way, way back. That's way outside, and that's going to allow Queenan to head down to second base, who stumbles over the bag and then recovers. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big bag out there this morning. Finds Barrow. He is powerful. One, two. Off speed. Got him. Boy, how's that? And this one is going to get down into right field. Queen in at third. He's waved in. Gets away from Nunez. Hold on. And holding at second base is Castellone. Really, really good start for Rhode Island. They're up one zip on a Castellone RBI. One thing that he has done is protect Connor Curtis really well and hit the ball the opposite field. And you see right there the execution of being able to do it. And Nunez in right field struggling to come up with it. He'll be over here in just a little bit. That pitch way inside, and that's going to allow the effort to get to third, and he slides in and oh, hooks man. that right foot okay. to the bag. Braden Castellone, that ankle is okay. 2-2 Two -two to McShane. Castellone is down there at third. Perfect pitch on the corner. He's gone. Second strike out of the inning. This place is absolutely packed, and people continue to come on in. 2-2, right back at him, off his glove, he's got time, and he will flip with the glove, what a play! Austin Crowley. We'll see if they want to review it. The value of contact, right? 100% safe. 2-0 Rhode Island, Dion beats it out, he'll pick up an RBI. Every gone, and that will be three extra pitches, and that will do it. Rhode Island, though, strikes first. Media PA will take to the batting order, and it is a 2 0 hole therein. Seleski is the catcher, Crowley and Grattan, terrific hitters as a former hey. hockey player. That's strike three, and he bounced right back. Swing and a miss. Umcam showed an off speed pitch, and he has struck out the first two. Eduardo went chicken tendies this morning. Swing and a miss. He punches out the side. 3-2 on the 28th pitch. Strike three. He's got four strikeouts. Bryce Aglioni waits. Gets a good bunt down. Who's going to get it? Third baseman, no chance. Bunt it on the base. Let's go. That's right. It was a good bunt. It was perfect. Rhode Island batting order. He squared to buck. It gets by and contact. Get on base. Move him around. He's at second now. Teams have 13 to 14. This will get their big hitters Ball. back. They're going to steal third. That was beautiful. The shortstop, Bratton, didn't get over to cover when Diedrich came in to field what would have been a bunt. Kind of amazement. Like, all these people are here for us. How are we going to be when we get there? Right down Broadway for a strikeout. Fifth of the game for Austin Crowley. The more he flies up and the more his arm drops a little bit. Woo. How about four strikeouts to start the game for Brady McShane? Another strikeout. He is five for five. He struck out six. He also walked three. Look out. Oh. And he got him. Into left and a not a good jump for Charlemagne. Now he's coming. He makes a great catch out there in left field. Cameron Charlemagne broke back and realized, nope, that was kind of off the end of the bat. I'm going to go get it. Yeah, well, Charlemagne went on Sports Center yesterday, he turned it on. It's a great point. The parents, right? All the practices, all the driving, the commitment. And two and two here to Connor Queen in swing and a miss. I got a catch. Back to back punch outs. That's number seven. Let's see him for sure. Curtis gone. Skoranek gets that big punch out. And that is the eighth strikeout of Rhode Island hitters. Waiting to see these guys. Nathan Helberg right field deep. That is over the head of Aglione. 
Hellberg to second leadoff double. That'll fire the crowd up. Uh, slow roll to first. It's fielded by Curtis and smartly just holds on to it. Fires away right field. Let's see. Aglione is there. Hellberg's going to hold. And a good throw and block from Queen in behind the plate. That's well executed by Royce Aglione in right field. The Ohio crew lost yesterday, but they're winning today. Up the middle with two strikes and two outs. Charles Hahn delivers. And it's two to one. Guys, that's from the that's from the 11th spot in the lineup. All right, being able to keep that bat head there, and that is a huge hit. Cut the deficit in half right now, two to one. Right back up the middle, Cody. He threw the bat at the ball. It's beautiful. They'll move him up in the order there. <laughs> Why am I batting 11? <laughs> they seem bigger and bigger every year. This one to right center. It's going to get down. Selesky delivers. Heading to third base. Here comes Hahn. He's in. And the media bats are waking up. Swing and a miss. What a job by McShane as he gets a good hitter. Crowley behind 3 0. He walks the leadoff man. The way they receive the ball, present the ball, frame it. In the dirt, blocked that with his shoulder, but it was too far away from him. That allows the leadoff man to get to second. And the next one to McShane, yeah, it was in the glove when he swung at it. That's a strikeout for Skoranek. His drills can really help. 3-2 to Dyer, oh. I think it got him on the elbow, and he is going to take first base. Here's something to think about. No foul ball, just a ball that was dropped by Seleski, and smartly down to third goes Castellone. <laughs> got it right there. Wow. wow. On the outside corner, got to protect with two strikes, and he didn't, and he is gone. One ball, one strike to Charlemagne. Ball. And here goes the runner down to second, and that will be allowed. Can he deliver a big hit for Smithfield? Up the middle, caught! What a job by Skorana to be in a position to field it. That was destined for center field. Is pitching a phenomenal game right now. Way up on the plate, good punt here. Queenan's got it. Good job by the catcher. Popped out from behind the plate. A five pitch inning. How many sports did you play as a kid? Because you know you, a lot a lot of people say like you don't want to get burnt out. You just want to have fun yeah. as a kid. I was very well rounded. Uh, I played a little bit of everything but mostly football baseball and hockey. I played I, I've played those but I've never played hockey before. And Skoranek as the temperature in the room has gone up too a little bit. Supposed to be in the 80s, off the glove of Seleski, down to second base. And in the scoring position goes Aglione. Second, third month of the season, you're like, boy, is it going to happen? And it does every year, so why would we be surprised? It feels like uh, Philly's due for that hot streak again. So if it made you angry as a pitcher, why would you then do it as a hitter? 2-1. Popped up on the infield. That's caught. And they will flip to first. Safe. Ooh. They keep an eye on the runner at third. What an effort by the second baseman to get over there as he took that flip from Helberg. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Rolls one of the second baseman. They will go to first, get that out, and they will get out of it. Wow. And how about running off the field, looking up and seeing that shot? adores everything you do and the players. How much of a relief is it as the leadoff man gets hit? Hey, I heard some coming in, by the way. You did? <laughs> well, that was maybe in your case, not being from Philly. The punt is laid down. That will advance the time run to second. Good job. Doesn't take long for uh, people to get engaged in a game. Right away, you're on board. Uh, this one is into center field. Nunez being waved. Here's the throw. He's in there. We're tied, and they're going nuts on the media side. <laughs> 
Two big hits by Helberg. The first one, the double, scoring the first run, and now driving a big run in. Up the middle, gets that big base hit, and the crowd is into it. <laughs> the Phillies and Harper were trying to get Helberg at second base to do their celebration after they get a hit or a you know, one of these. They were trying to get him to do that. I need some extra velocity on that one. <laughs> And throws a seven, seven, eight inning shutout. Oh, caught. And he could be four for four. And he could be four for four, in, you know, in one game um, and come back the next day and, and be your DH. Two outs, the 0 2. Got him to chase. That'll do it. Castellone comes on. Be fortunate enough, all the little leaguers to go watch the big league game. Castellone up the middle, leadoff man aboard. He took that off the ground. One on, nobody out. Up the middle, that's going to get down. Center fielder fields it and fires it back in. Boy, how about the two strike hitting by Castellone and now McShane? He's playing really well, too, right now. 0 oh, 2 on the ground to third. They will try to tag. No tag, and everybody is safe. They're looking to see if the runner had gone out of the baseline. Davey, what are you doing here? Is you, you asking? I'm going to ask a question, yeah. Um, <laughs> we've done it before. <laughs> Dave, you've, got, you've done more than just ask a question. I've seen you lay down at home plate. That either hit him or the batter. Hit something. Let's see. The home plate umpire will send him to first. That's a hit batter, and the lead one is now in. 2 2. Back up the middle, and it is coming home. He's out, out at home is the call. They get the force, Domenico fired it to Seleski. And the home plate umpire, Dave Miller, says out at home. Oh, it looks like he may have a toe down. Tell you what, great job also on the slide, because usually when you slide, the foot pops up. He was able to keep that foot yep. down. Here's the review. Oh, called safe. Whether it's a foul or not remains to be seen. 3 2. That's a walk. And that'll do it for Skoranek, and the lead grows to three. Volunteers already underway. And that game on ESPNU. Look out. Oh, what a catch by the catcher from Canada. Left handed catcher. Woo. Two of them in the Little League World Series. The winner will play Tuesday. Swing and a miss, and the catcher, Seleski, couldn't hold on to it, and another run comes in. Everybody else moves up. And now he squares. He does that really well, and he offered at it, and he throws down. Here comes the runner home. May have two. No, the ball is dropped safe at the plate. And Seleski, the catcher, has been involved in all of this. He got back in time, and then the throw came in, and with a catch, he probably had the out. Love got him in the face of Charlemagne. Pretty well executed, other than the catch at the plate. Yeah, like I said, uh, good, good fundamental baseball. Throws have been great. That's what I, I, I tell our players all the time. Hey, we're going to bang hands, heads with some of the best, best uh, teams. And a lot of them are going to be watching the Phillies. We get that, but who should they be watching on this team? Your team? Well, we got, you know, we got C.J. Abrams. We got. Uh, uh, Cabrera Ruiz will catch tonight. Um, you know, Joey's, Joey's having a, a great, great fantastic year. year for us. Um, what can you tell us about them? Oh, they're doing, uh, they're, uh, we're excited about them, number one, and uh, they're doing unbelievable. He rolls one over and he is fast. This is a tough play and he is safe. Two and two. Swing and a miss. That's it. Rhode Island will win it 7 2 and stay alive. Mm-hmm.